What, what is this, this filmography? What a Manila hates the spotlight. Still, he considers what's about to happen a medical miracle, if it works. So for more than a year, he's let us tag along. Beginning in December of 2024, when a medical team at Children's National Hospital in D.C. removed millions of his bone marrow stem cells and shipped them to a lab. All right, we are rocking and rolling. You've begun. They were genetically altered to produce red blood cells less likely to sickle, pile up, and result in excruciating pain. Today is August 17th. The day before, Wedham is admitted into the hospital for his gene therapy process. He's going to be losing his hair, so... I look like a alien. <laughs> his mother, Sylvia, documenting each step. Ready for the journey. As Wedham checked back into Children's in August to begin intensive chemotherapy. It's a process needed to wipe out Wedham's old stem cells and make room in the bone marrow for his new ones. I visited Wedham two days after his chemo ended, and as his medical team prepared the new stem cells to be infused back into his bloodstream. Is there a small part of you that's at least excited about this infusion in this moment? Excited? No, but I, I, I hope it works. For good reason, given what would happen next, as the chemo took hold, first came nausea. Side effects have started. Then bleeding sores in his mouth and throat. How big can you open? And that's it? Mm -hmm. Skin peeling all over his body. You see it on his scalp, all over his scalp. Eventually, things got so bad, he was admitted into the intensive care unit. Yeah, I wish I could take some of this pain from him, but unfortunately I can't. So all I do is sit with him and hold his hand or rub his back. But in that dark moment, Wedham's white blood cell count started to rise, a sign things were finally working as planned. At least today he's able to talk. Wedham, hi. Say hi. Hi. How are you feeling getting some signs that the procedure worked? I'm hoping that the pain uh, will also stop with, the, with knowing the procedure worked. How long do you think it'll take before you can say this definitely worked? As of right now, it has worked. He's not needing transfusion support um, because his genetically modified bone marrow is making his healthy red blood cells. For Wedham and his family, that means a new life. I used to say, I, we, you know, we see the light at the end of the tunnel, but now we are in the light. And how has this impacted Wedham, um, knowing that he's so close to that light? Oh, my gosh. My, my, son, my son is different now. As a kid, Wedham was always the fun one, dancing and, you know, happy. But complications of sickle cell changed him completely. But in the past few months since we started this process, I think he's back. He is back to us. And it's amazing to watch him. On October 1st, Wedham exited the hospital in style. By Thanksgiving, he was dancing with his mom again. <laughs> Yemi Shalsendor, NBC News, Washington. We thank you for watching and remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.